And the worst part about all of this is that I'm young. I'm considered a youngin and I'm saying this, like I'm seeing this blatantly for what it is. And the fact that we have people that are in these positions that aren't understanding what it is that they are doing and how it is affecting other people. It's mind blowingly scary. That's just what it is. What's going on today, guys? Good morning, good morning, good morning. So today we have a tweet from uh, Coinbase, which we are going to be talking about here in a brief minute. So basically what was stated was that the um, SEC told Coinbase that it wants to sue them over Lend. So basically Coinbase is stating that they have no idea why um, the uh, SEC is doing this right now. And they made a tweet right here, which basically states, after months of trying to engage with the SEC on our planned Coinbase Lend product, we recently received notice that it intends to pursue legal action against us. So here is what is going on right now and here is what their um, product is right here. We're going to go over that right now. So this is Brian Armstrong. I'm pretty sure most of you guys know him, but for those of you who don't, he know he is the um, co-founder and CEO of uh, Coinbase as well as... Uh, give crypto but anyways guys so he also made a very very long tweet thread which was much longer than coinbase's um actual thread so basically right here he says two millions of uh crypto holders have been earning yield on their assets over the last few years so we already know what this is more than likely going to be about right staking so pretty much a bunch of great companies in crypto have been offering versions of this for years coinbase came out recently and said we would be launching our own version so here is what he was talking about we were planning to go live in a few weeks so we reach out to the um, sec to give them a friendly heads up and briefing so basically they were trying to give them a heads up because coinbase is very very um they abide by the rules guys like they try every single way to um please the um sec and make sure they are not going and overstepping guidelines and regulations so basically here brian armstrong states they responded by telling us this feature is a security okay it seems strange how can lending be a security? So we asked the SEC to help us understand and share their view. We always make an effort to work proactively with regulators, which I said before they really do. And keep in mind, they refuse to tell us why they think it's a security. So we have another one of these situations. So the SEC is kind of sticking their foot in all these different pots and they are not giving any explanation as to why. And honestly, they probably don't even know why at this point. Personally, to me, it seems that the SEC is still trying to figure crypto out. And because of they are because they're still trying to figure crypto out, they're trying to cancel out as many large names in crypto as possible on subjects such as this, while they can have um, pretty much give themselves the time to go ahead and figure things out. And they're trying to extend their uh, timeline with this. Anyways. So basically, guys, what Coinbase was trying to do here was they were trying to give people a um, chance to earn 4% APY on USD coin, which is pretty much the US dollar. So it's almost a guaranteed gain. So in a sense, it kind of seems like the SEC figured that out. I mean, there is no other reason for them to really be saying this is a security. And they figured this out and they're like, hey, um, you're basically giving people a guaranteed gain. We don't like that. That really seems like a security to us. So we are going to uh, take you and sue you. So pretty much Brian Armstrong is very, very upset about this. As you can see here, this is a very, very, very long thread. Um, we'll probably go through this just a little bit more here in a minute. But um, there's a lot of crazy things going on with crypto right now, guys. There's a lot of crazy things going on. So shortly after that, Brian Armstrong goes to say that basically um, the um, SEC's goal is to protect investors and create fair markets. So who are they protecting here and where is the harm? That's a very, very, very great point. Definitely gonna have to like that right now, but that's a very great point, guys. Who, who, Who's at harm in this? You know what I mean? People seem pretty happy to be earning yield on these various products across lots of other crypto companies. And that's the thing here, guys. Other crypto companies are not being bothered by the SEC while Coinbase is. So that just goes to add more to the um, thing of the SEC is only really going after the bigger names and they're not attacking 
crypto the crypto space as a whole so that really goes to show that they honestly aren't 100 percent sure with their accusations so guys we are definitely going to have to like sit this one out and figure out exactly what's going on but i definitely expect some more fud to be coming out in the crypto space so definitely keep them diamond hands ready guys because we are going to need them um they are going to try everything in their power to scare you out of this guys and this is not financial advice i'm not a financial advisor but honestly guys if you're seeing more institutional adoption and banks and stuff like that are coming into crypto while the sec is trying to do things like this on the other end there's obviously some sort of manipulation going on here guys they're trying to manipulate people they're trying to manipulate um the general public and really guys these these guys are late guys they are super late to the um to the space they didn't think it was going to take off the way it did they didn't think it was going to be successful and now they are trying to um pick their pants up and catch up to everybody else that's way down the hallway so with that being said we should definitely keep an eye on this because there's a lot of things going on with the U.S. in general, and I'll explain this right here in a minute. But um, yeah, man, this is just insane right now after what happened yesterday with um, um, El Salvador and uh, Bitcoin taking its little flash crash. And um, yeah, so now it really just seems like the U.S. is trying to take down crypto as a whole because we have the infrastructure bill. And then we have them attacking staking. We have um, other things like the um, extension on um, ETFs and so much more, guys. Like we have XRP. We have a whole bunch of just crazy things going on in the U.S. with uh, crypto regulations. It's uh, It just almost seems like they don't want people to uh, get in on this and make money off of this before they can completely figure out how to regulate it and make money off of it themselves so honestly guys in the um long run this was just going to be half to some it's just going to have to be something that we wait out honestly but um definitely expect some more red days in my personal opinion i'm going to be loading up every single one of those red days i mean they're not going to scare me out of this personally um but yeah man this is really really crazy brian armstrong he goes down here to say a lot more so if you guys want to read this, you can definitely go ahead and read this. But I just felt like I needed to get a video out here on this. Um, so he, right here, I'll read this really quick. He says the um, SEC was the only reg um, regulator that refused to meet with me saying we are not meeting with any crypto companies. This was right after we became the first crypto company to go public in the US. So why would you not want to meet with the first ever crypto company to go public in the US that is making history? Why would you not want to go meet with them and kind of figure out, hold on, this is a really, really big thing that's going on right now. This is the first ever crypto company to go public in the US. Um, we're the SEC, we kind of need to, um, speak with them about this and figure things out and see where they're coming from right but no they don't want to talk they're being salty they're butt hurt right now and um honestly guys that's just all it is that's just all it is they're throwing a fit and as you can see right here on may 14th he said um i spent most of this week's meeting with december um with uh, with members of um congress and um heads of various federal agencies along with ron conway and et cetera, et cetera. And then he goes down to talk about um, pretty much what's going on in the crypto space at that time back in May. And then goes on to talk about regulation and um, politics and stuff like that. But guys, this is a very, very crazy time in crypto for sure. So um, definitely you were, you're definitely gonna wanna keep up with the news. And if you are currently staking anything, like I know a lot of people are in the u.s and they are staking things like um veracity and other things like that and veracity clearly states that if you're in the u.s that you should not stake and that they're not going to come after you personally for staking but they tell you the um consequences of staking with them and being in the u.s or any other country that is not completely like allowed or regulated to um stake there so basically if you guys are staking with like any cryptos out there right now that you think may be questionable 
uh, definitely proceed with caution. Definitely do your research and your due diligence because things are getting hot in the pot right now. But um, anyways, guys, that's all I've got for today's video. Definitely keep your heads up. I think the crypto space is just going through what a lot of things go through whenever they um, are uncertain and people don't know. People don't like change, you know what I mean? And this is a really, really huge change. We're changing from, we're pretty, um, transitioning from pretty much like the old fashioned way to new digital way. And um, the old heads are not liking it at all. I mean, just about every old head that I talk to doesn't understand crypto in general. And that's almost a quarter, if not more than a quarter. That's more than a quarter. It's like more than half of the um, higher up in regulation as far as the uh, SEC and like the uh, political status goes. So with that being said... I definitely believe that we need to get some um, younger people <laughs> inside of the office in a lot of places with the US and just around the world in general. I don't know guys, in my personal opinion, when you have the type of power that the SEC has, you don't have the right to just go ahead and tell companies no and just tell people no and not give them an explanation and not explain your uh, regulation on things when you have that type of power. Like, the SEC hasn't even, like, completely addressed the whole GME AMC thing yet, and they're trying to dip their toes in crypto and um, do everything else. Like, get all your peas in a pot before you come out with these um, regulations and stuff like that. But guys, 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 I will see you guys in the next video. I'm going to stop ranting, and I'm going to get on with my day. Have a good one, guys.